Do you think it's easy? Do you think it's fucking easy to wake up, go to fucking work all damn day, bust your butt cheeks like nobody's goddamn biz, come home, crawl to the fridge, grab a cold one, turn on a record, and then say shit about it on the internet? You think it's fucking easy? Well, you're goddamn right it is. <laughs> and that's why it's reviews with booze. And I'm Winston Smith. I want to talk about Never Mind the Bollocks, Here's the Sex Pistols. By the Sex Pistols. There's a girl one time when I was in high school and she was like, Sex Pistols, those guys are bubblegum. And I was like, hmm, bubblegum? In certain senses, if you wanted to say that, maybe I could be... Bitch! These guys were real as fuck. Say what you will. God bless them. Them and their same 13 songs on like 50 different fucking 7 inches. Different recordings, though. And this album doesn't necessarily capture Johnny Rotten at his best, either. But! Bubblegum, you fucking bitch! These guys... Sid Vicious overdosed on heroin and killed his goddamn girlfriend, cut her up into pieces. They pulled a fucking boat around and played God Save the Queen at the Queen's Jubilee in England and were arrested by bobbies with stakes. <laughs> but in America, they might have been shot. <laughs> Just kidding. You want to know why? We don't have a queen. It's fucking free. Sam Adams, the Boston lagger. Patriot beer, motherfuckers! They paid me to say that. We're not free! We're not fucking free! No! No, just kidding. Anyways, back to fucking views with booze, goddammit. This album is actually produced extremely well. It, I almost question if they're the ones playing on this thing. The Steve Jones, I think his name is... His fingers seem to be so much more finesseful with, like, the bends and chromatic bends and barrings than, like, uh, the Ramones and stuff like that. It's not that raw. It's, it's, very, it's actually a rock and roll album. It's very well produced. It has good gang vocals and all sorts of crazy shit. In my opinion, now, crazy shit <laughs> is relative. We're talking about the goddamn Sex Pistols here. <laughs> But in my opinion, the song Bodies is the best song on the album. But it's also kind of the darkest and yada yada. A high point on this record is when he's like... Screaming fucking bloody mess in that song. I fucking love that part. But <laughs> at, I gotta say, there are other... This is a strange album. It's so... I wonder if they just busted out with the metronome, producers, big money, or something like that. Is it... It's put together quite well for one of the most notorious punk albums in the world. Of course, I know Johnny Rotten was like, hey, we're not punk. The media labeled us that, but we're gonna go with it, or whatever the fuck he said. But... <laughs> it's it's classic. This is it actually... I see now. This is this is a very rock and roll album. I think uh, fans of rock and roll would like it. If you can't stand Johnny Rotten's "Let's Go," then fucking it's understandable. But I say never mind the bollocks. Oh. Um, God save the queen. Sam Adams, baby. We mean it, man. Thank you for watching. We're using booze. Peace. <laughs>